Well, but it seems better this morning. Uh, I'm glad somebody does. What's wrong with you? I don't know. Seen much? Wasn't in his room. Must have gone out early. Didn't come home last night. Get them pigs fed, Marlon. Oh, that's Butch's job. Uh. I'll just do as you're told. Hey, I'll be talking to Butch as soon as I catch up with him. It's disgusting. Whoever's done this wants locking up. Agreed. Have you arrested Butch Dingle yet? We'll certainly be speaking to him as part of our inquiries, and if he's responsible... There's no that... if about it. He's been harassing Sophie for weeks. Every time I turn around, he's there. He won't leave me alone. Can't you just get him off the streets? I thought there were laws to stop stalkers now. There are, Miss Tate, but we still need evidence before we can prosecute anyone. Isn't this enough for you? It would be, if we could prove he's done it. Are you saying you actually saw him? No. He'd gone by the time we got in here, but we know it was him. Knowing and proving are two different things. It's something we have to face every day. I'm sorry for the upset it's caused you, but I can promise you we'll be doing everything we can to put a stop to this. Well, I can't say I approve of everything that goes on in this house, but you're entitled to protection from this. And I'm going to make sure we get it. The police are still parked outside Zoe's. Looks like they've had a bit of trouble. Someone broke in the place earlier and messed it up. They were round to ask if we'd seen anything. I wish we had. Give me great pleasure to turn in mindless hooligans like that. Hang on, Butch. What? I forgot to change. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Do you remember me? Um, and his social worker? Are the Sugdens about? Um, they weren't expecting you to later. My first appointment was cancelled. I can wait if it's inconvenient. Oh, Carmel. Uh, I'll look out and finish off on my own if you're busy, Jack. Yeah, thanks, Ned. OK. Are you and Sarah settling in well here? Yeah. Great for Andy, too. Good air. Acres to play in. Just what the doctor ordered for a city kid. Yeah. It's a pity he's having such a lot of problems at school, though. Ah, yeah. Come on, Marlon. Eh? You can give us a hand there. Me? Again? When's Bud's gonna pull his weight, eh? He will! As soon as I catch up with him. Oh. Me time is down to you. It's for your dad. He's a sick man. You ought to be pleased to help. It's the law. It's all be done now. Zack, he's in bed with the mumps. He can't have done anything. Morning, Raymond. What can we do for you? Looking for Butch. Ah, afraid he's not here at the moment. Can I ask you what this is about? Criminal damage at the vet's house last night. Well, what makes you think our Butch knew anything about it? According to Miss Tate and Miss Wright, he's been making their lives a misery for weeks. Seems he's overly smitten with Miss Wright. Won't take no for an answer. That's nonsense! <laughs> Besides, Butch couldn't have been anywhere near Zoe's last night. Our Albert's got mumps. He was here looking after him. You can be witness to that, can you? Well, we were down the wall pack for a time. Butch refused to leave Albert's bedside. Yeah, he's a kind lad. Takes his nursing duties very seriously. No doubt he was reading in Bible stories. No. You'll have to ask Albert about that. But I'm sure you'll find he'll confirm my story. I've been coming up here a lot, Zach, but this is serious. I need to see him. Well, yeah, of course. I always like to help the police with inquiries. Perhaps you'd like to take the officer to see Albert, Lisa. This way. Oh, he oh, is such an adorable little chap, aren't you? <laughs> well, he's good as gold most of the time. Can I hold him for a bit? Yeah. I've been calling you, Jan. Uh, sorry, Mrs Tate. Uh, I can understand you wanting to see James, but could you do it in your own time in future? You do have duties here, you know. Yes, Mrs Tate. And I don't expect to answer the front door myself. I do expect guests, however, especially members of the board, to be made welcome and offered refreshment. Yes, Mrs Tate. What can I get you? Tea, please. A coffee for me. Cream, not milk. Yes, Mrs Tate. 
The office is being used for holiday village staff interviews, so we'll be working in the dining room. I take it it's tidy in there? I did it this morning, Mrs Tate. Oh, good, and you'll make sure we're not disturbed. Yes, Mrs Tate. The weather seems pretty pleasant today, Sophie. I'm sure it would be better for James to have a healthy walk instead of being fussed over by the staff. Yes, Mrs Tate. Come on, you. Ooh. Come on. We've had the law round after you. I've done nothing. Yeah, I told him that. You were looking after Uncle Albert all last night. He's already made a statement confirming that. So, where have you been, really? I've had all your jobs to do. He was with Uncle Albert. And he went for a walk first thing this morning. That's all anyone needs to know. Right. The police seem to think you've been making a nuisance of yourself with young Sophie. I told him it was nonsense. You've always been thick. But even you're not stupid enough to get yourself put away over some lass. Trouble is, I'm not sure they believe me. They're still going to want to talk to you. So I hope you're not going to do it. It helps to put yourself under suspicion. Because I reckon they're in the mood to chuck the book at you. And if that doesn't convince you, remember you've got me to deal with first. Here. Andy will be down in a minute. He's um, just finishing off some maths homework. We've been trying to catch up on some of the work we missed last term. Hey, that way he'll have a better chance when he starts his new school. It's good of you both to put in so much work for him. I just hope it isn't causing resentment from your other children. Oh, uh, well, we've had a few problems between him and Robert, but I think they're all sorted now. Hello, Andy. Your father's been released from prison. I know, but what's that got to do with me? I don't even remember him. Well, he's never forgotten you. He's written to you lots of times. He wants to see you more than anything else. Do I have to? I think you should give him a chance, Andy. He knows you've had a difficult time, and perhaps you even blame him for that. But he's a different person now. He really wants to make it up to you. Sure, I can't get you anything, Zoe. I've told you I don't want a drink. I just want to hear what you have to say. Just a bite then, Monday. Oh, yeah, Uncle Zack. How long do you reckon she's going to stay, then? I don't know. But it would be nice not to have to queue to use my own bathroom. Yeah, well, maybe you could ask her to go. I think it'd be better if you did. It's your pub. Exactly. Which is a problem for me as her employer, but as a fellow employee, you could be more tactful about it. I'll toss you for it. Just want to clear up any misunderstandings. It's a bit more than a misunderstanding, Zach. Well, you got it all wrong. Butch wouldn't do out like that. He might not be very bright, but he's harmless. He's a menace, and he's got to be stopped. Look, I'll have words with him, then. Make sure there aren't any more misunderstandings. No, it's too late for that, Zach. As far as I'm concerned, it's still a matter for the police. I want him charged and put away if necessary. Maybe it's the shock he needs to bring him to his senses. Come on, Butch, put your back into it. What's the matter? You're a bit lovesick. No, I'm sick of you lot picking on me. Not our fault if you don't know where you're not wanted. That's where you're wrong. Sophie does want me. <laughs> it's just that Zoe keeps getting in the way. That's no reason to smash her house up. I never went near the place. Yeah? Well, lucky for you, we sorted things out for you. Otherwise, you'd have been done for it. I wish you lot would stop interfering. I don't need your help. I can sort my own life out. Where do you think you're going? There's work to be done. Not here. Not for me, any road. There's interviews up at home farm. I'm going to get myself a proper job. Don't be daft, Butch. 
That's where Sophie works. It's asking for trouble. It's my life, and I know what I'm doing. OK. Hmm. I don't think Zach's going to be too pleased. Why does she always have to come round and check up on me? She doesn't. When I mean, she's checking up on anyone, it's me and Sarah. She's there to see that we're caring for you properly. We just want you to be happy, Andy. And that's why Carmel thought it would be a good idea if you saw your father. No one's going to make you do anything you don't want to, but the least you could do is talk to him about it. It'll just be one day out of your life. He's got lots of treats planned for you. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Mr Hopwood? Yeah, yes, it is Sarah Sugden. Y yeah, Carmel gave me your number. Um, I've got Andy here for you now. Hang on. I don't want to talk to him! Don't be silly. You only want me to go to him so you can get rid of me. Look, Andy, as far as we're concerned, this is your home and we're your family and that's how we want it to stay. But you've always known that we're not your real parents. We're fostering you be because your own parents couldn't look after you. But why do I have to see him? He's never done anything for me, except cause trouble. Look, no one's going to force you to do anything you don't want. Now, whatever you feel about him, he is still your dad. He's not trying to take you away. He, he just wants to start by being friends. Th you can tell him all about the farm, and Robert, and Victoria... And at the end of the day, you'll come back to us. Back to your own room. So you see, there's nothing to worry about. Now, I think I should get him on the phone again, but only if you'll promise to speak to him this time. All right, then. Zach's obviously worried about the police being involved. He's told them Butch was with Albert last night. Oh, I suppose that puts him in the clear. No, not for long. They must know he's lying. The room didn't smash itself up and Butch is their only suspect. Maybe it's not worth pushing it any further. I'd rather put my faith in the law. Dingles have never been too reliable about keeping their own house in order. Me and Biff will be over straight after work, so don't bother getting anything in because we'll do all the cooking. Any particular reason? Well, let's just say it should be a celebration. He's got his test results, hasn't he? <laughs> Betty, he wants to tell you about it himself. Oh, no, Linda, you can't leave me in doubt like this. I've got to know, Law. He's in the clear, Betty. <laughs> but um, don't say anything about it, because he's been in a really funny mood ever since. Yeah, I'm sure it'll pass. I'm just going to drop Sophie back. If Mrs Thomas calls to collect Patch, can you try and get her to settle her bill? This week's overdue. Yeah, right. Hey, can I tell, Seth? Of course you can, but not a word to anyone else until Biff makes his official announcement. OK? Bye. Yeah. <laughs> that shows a huge projection. Personally, I won't touch it with the barge bill. What's going on? I thought I told you we weren't to be disturbed. Well, I didn't think you meant Mr Tay. He lives here. Well, in future, try checking with me if you've got any doubts. Yes, Mrs Tay. Steve and I are looking at bids for the holiday village. I'm still a member of the board. I'm entitled to know what's happening. You're entitled to attend board meetings. We're just implementing decisions that were made at the last one. This sale is a huge mistake. Dad would have agreed with me. Frank's dead and you lost the vote, Chris. It's the end of the argument. Don't count on it. I'm not going to give up on this. If you call another board meeting, the result will be just the same. Now, why don't you go and do something more suited to your talents? We're interviewing cleaning staff. I'm sure Biff would welcome your advice. This application form's supposed to tell us something about you, Butch. It's all lies. No, it ain't. Lots of experience in hotel and catering stuff. Yeah, well, uh, Well, we do B&B up at Wishmore Cottage all the time, don't we, so... Also, dead good entertainer. Yeah. Do you want me to sing for you? No. Not if you're applying to be a chambermaid. Look, I want to work at home farm. I'll slip you something out of my first week's wages if that's what it takes.
Looking for a job? I really need one, Mr. Tate. I don't mind what I do. So if you could put a word in for me. Well, I always like to encourage ambition. Perhaps you'd like to pop in and see me sometime. Tell me how you're getting on. You sure you don't want to hear me sing? Yeah, I'm quite sure, Butch. We'll let you know about the job. <laughs> Application form? Don't think I need one. You can just tell me when I start. That's not exactly how it works, Kelly. I think it is. A recommendation from the board still carries some weight. Just do the paperwork, Biff. You must be getting back to the surgery. I've left Linda on home far too long. Yeah. I'll see you later, then. Mm. Hi, Sophie. What are you doing here? I'm getting myself a job at home farm. It's great, isn't it? We'll be able to see a lot more of each other. I don't know how you've got the nerve to show your face round here after what you did. If I leave had my... it, Zoe. It's not the time or the place. <laughs> I just wish I knew we were doing the right thing. Well, it doesn't seem to me like we've got much choice. We're just fostering. I mean, if the authorities decided to take Andy away from us permanently, there wouldn't be much we could do about it. You don't think they will, do you? I doubt it. It doesn't sound like his dad's ready to put that much commitment into looking after him. But if it came to it, he's got a lot more rights than we have. The man's a murderer. Yeah, but he's still his natural father, and that's what counts. Well, at least I can put your mind at rest on one thing. There's no way we'll be employing Butch Dingle as a chalet cleaner. Thanks. But I doubt it'll stop him harassing Sophie. Do you want me to have a word with him? Good idea. In the meantime, why don't you move back into Home Farm? You'd be a lot safer here. I'm not letting Butch Dingle drive me out of my own home. I'm just going to keep reporting every incident like this to the police until they have to arrest him. This ought to make you two think about selling to an open prison. Zoe's nearly been hounded out of her own house by one half-wit. Imagine what the village will think when they find out they'll be living next to murderers, rapists and paedophiles. It's not that category of prisoner we're talking about. Try telling Betty Eggleton that. Now, don't you let on that we know, cos Biff wants to tell us himself. What's it matter who tells us? Important thing is it's the news we've all been waiting for. I know, I know. But they sometimes say that folk who's had good news sometimes take it worse than when it's the other way around. They reckon they need counselling and that. That's a load of nonsense. If you ask me, there's too many counsellors in this world. People have got no better to do than tell other folk what's wrong with them. <laughs> Meals in the oven. It won't be long. Oh, good love. And I've uh, brought some boosts to celebrate. <laughs> And this last did right thing telling us we've been worried sick ever since we heard. You're like a son to us, Beth. We couldn't bear to lose you. Happen. I mean, stir death in face. You might have things to get off your chest. I know I would. But there's no that won't come out better for being washed down with a drop of ale. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Seth. There's no better time to do it than having a meal with the three people I care most about in the world. Now, I'm not really one for making speeches, but... Well, there's a few things I want to say to you all. Butch has never been one for brains, has he? And since he dropped into his trousers, he seemed to disappear altogether. What are you going to do to him? Ah, oh, Butch can wait. First priority is keeping him out of jail. Have you spoken to him yet? No. Well, shouldn't you? I mean, you lost the toss, you've got to tell it to go. That's the deal. There'll be no need for that sort of business. isn't it? What? You mean you're chickening out? I mean I have devised a cunning plan to make her leave of her own accord. A likely tale. I tried to speak against it, but I was outvoted. Now I can only hope that public opinion will force him to reconsider. Hey, you will never normally want to shy away from making a profit yourself. I suppose I deserve that, Ned, but I'm a parent, just like you and Viv. <laughs> It's little Joseph I worry about. I want to be sure that it's safe for him to grow up round here. Well, I don't often agree with you, Chris, but I think you got it right this time. Kim Tate has got to be stopped. I must say you've been very cool about it all. Chris is probably blackening your name all over Emmerdale right now. <laughs> At least it keeps him out of the way. 
Aren't you a bit worried? I've got more important things on my mind. It's been a hell of a time for us. I'm glad it's all over. And I hope I've learnt a couple of things out of it as well. I've been thinking about Luke a lot lately. Oh, poor lad. Yeah, but it just goes to show. None of us know exactly when we're going to go. Oh, now don't start getting morbid, Biff. Not tonight. Oh, hear me out, Bay. A lot of people thought that me and Linda were too young to get married. We haven't got a place of our own, and we haven't got much money. But we have got each other. And that's what counts. That's the one thing that I don't want to lose. And, um, <laughs> we're going to have a baby. That's the other bit of news we've got for you. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful! It's a good reason for a celebration. Well, uh, no, 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 there is one other thing. Um, we've got a favour to ask you both. Well, you know we'd do anything in the world for you two. We'd like you two to be the godparents. Oh! Frightened for Sophie. He's already got into the house, smashed the place up. I don't know what he's going to do next. I appreciate how you feel, Miss Tate, but we've got signed statements from the Dingles that Butch was at home all last night. You must see the lying. It's a cover up. She's right. We were covering up. Well, you've finally admitted it. Now will you arrest Butch? It was nothing to do with Butch. It was me Albert was covering up for. I smashed the place up. That's ridiculous. What possible motive could you have had? Don't approve of what goes on in this house. It's not natural. The sack. We've lived in the same village for years. It never seemed to worry you before. Well, guess I thought it was time the silent majority had this, uh... I'll admit I had a few drinks and maybe went too far, so I'm willing to take the consequences. You're being an idiot, Zach. Do you realise you'll be charged? Don't worry. I'll plead guilty. And, though we're not a rich family, I'll pay compensation for the damage I've done. Can't you see he's still lying? Let's get down the station. I'll make a statement. The sooner I get out of this house, the sooner the better. <laughs> 